2015's Robots in Disguise had numerous Decepticons that were never made into toys for the accompanying line. Almost a decade later, a certain kleptomaniac showed up in Legacy United's Star Raiders collection. Filch is heavily retooled from Kingdom Air Razor. Instead of an organic peregrine falcon, Filch transforms into a metallic corvid. I said corvid. Probably because members of the Corvidae family are associated with thievery. While the feet and tail feathers certainly look familiar, the back is a blend of newly sculpted feathers with some of air razors. Nearly everything else has been replaced with mechanical looking structures, surface greebling, and panel lining. This includes the new show accurate head sculpt with that small nub on her beak. And even then, that's air razor's throat. The wings don't flow smoothly, nor do they fell naturally, since the outer wings are separate pieces positioned higher than the rest. Still, the articulation in them is as effective as ever. From what little we've seen of Filch's robot mode in promo pics and media, the legacy figure looks enough like the character despite being a retool of an otherwise unrelated bird transformer. The head sculpt is faithful, with the crest and swept back spikes. The shoulders are redone to better resemble their disc-like appearance. Filcher's character design has the bird wings protrude from the arms, which you can recreate by plugging the outer wing pieces onto her forearms. They also double as handheld weapons. The bird tail is located behind her waist, and you can rotate the feet so that the talons face forward. While Legacy Filcher's colour layout might not be 100% accurate in either mode, the colours themselves are at least there, with the indigo, multiple purples, small hints of blue, and if you look closely, the tiniest hint of orange. The robot articulation is also pretty stellar, though as with Air Razor, you'll need to unpeg the wings and tail to access the flight stand port. Maybe it's just the people I talk to, but I don't recall many being particularly thrilled with the Star Raiders collection when it was announced. I'm guessing due to both the faction itself, and some of the character choices being pretty niche. And that's your prerogative. But also, you want the big Transformers names and all the original art crew again? Sublines like this give obscure bots such as Filch a chance to shine, who as retools go, will loot you in one foul swoop. For the next report, gotta finish that Stunticon job. Until then, stay ruined.